All right, so today we'll be testing the Radeon RX 6600 XT in Hogwarts Legacy. Now we've got our character there, Perry Hotter, and uh, we'll be testing at uh, 1080p, 1440p, and uh, ray tracing enabled and disabled. So we'll be starting at uh, 1080p, and as you saw, we've got the quality preset set to medium. All right, uh, let's get right to it. All right, so we are, where are we? Uh, we are just outside of the Hogwarts uh, castle here and uh, we'll just be running around outside and then inside as well this game has uh, some vram limitation issues it seems so we'll be uh, just checking for stuttering and uh, also what the general performance is like all right so let me just reset the numbers here now the funny thing about this game is that uh, when you just play you get about 120 frames per second at 1080p on medium with this gpu and then you go into the menu and you come back and then it reduces the fps by about 20. so uh, definitely some optimization uh, issues still but uh, i must say that the game looks pretty good i'm uh, pretty happy with the the graphics and i haven't encountered uh, many uh, issues many bugs so far i've played for about three hours hours except for the vram issue or the vram limitation i'm pretty happy with the performance with the rx 6600 xt All right so you can see that inside we're getting about 150 frames per second and there the stuttering starts but there you can see our gpu usage is maxed out so we're sitting at 98 percent and our vram usage is sitting at 7.5 gig now once again that's uh, vram allocated it does not necessarily mean that's uh, vram used but uh, seeing that this is an 8 gig card we are definitely getting close to that 8 gig limit. All right, so casting a few spells here. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything too extreme here. Just giving you an idea of what the performance is like. As you can see, the scenery looks pretty good. This is even on uh, 1080p medium settings. Definitely better than Force Broken. And this game looks better and it also plays pretty good. All right, so there we have it for our 1080p medium results. We've got an average of 119 FPS. 1% uh, lows are sitting at 67 and 0.1% lows are sitting at 40. All right, let's see what happens on the high preset. All right, so now we're at uh, 1080p on the high preset. So you can see that we lost quite a, a bit of performance. We went down from between 100 and 120 to about uh, 70 to 90. All right, this game is definitely still playable at 60 frames per second. Uh, once again, I'm playing this with a controller, so I'm not noticing any input latency. This game does support uh, multiple upscaling methods. It's got uh, FSR1, FSR2, Intel's XESS and uh, DLSS, and it also supports frame generation. So if you've got an RTX uh, 40 series graphics card, you can definitely make use of that. All right, so here you can see that our frame rate does increase once we are in the castle. Again, um, definitely not what you should expect uh, typically, because uh, I'd assume that most of your gameplay would actually take place outside, and that'll make sense to me. And you can see that there is quite a few stutters. But that said, it's definitely not the end of the world. It's not a high-paced uh, first-person shooter game. So a stutter here or there, not going to make or break this game. And overall, so far, the gameplay seems to be pretty okay. All right, but there we have it for the 1080p high preset. We've got an average of 88 frames per second, 1% lows of 49 and 0.1% lows of 30. All right, and we're now on uh, ultra. We're using the ultra preset still at 1080p. I did see some funniness whilst the level was loading. Uh, the textures took uh, a little bit longer to load in, which might indicate that we might run out of VRAM sometime soon. But as you can see, we're still getting decent uh, performance here. We're not getting a constant uh, 60 frames per second, but it's close enough. And once again, the game feels, uh, it feels pretty smooth. All right, so just going into the castle here, once again, you can see the uh, stuttering improving, not improving, increasing. And if you have a look at the frame time graph there, you can see that it is quite inconsistent. Our GPU usage is going up and down as well. There it was sitting at 90%. Uh, it should be pegged at about 98%. And you'd uh, think that a 12400F CPU should be able to keep this GPU pegged at uh, full GPU usage, especially on the ultra preset. So as I said, this game might need a few optimization patches still. But uh, overall, I'm pretty okay with the performance. As I mentioned, uh, I've been playing it for, for about three hours or so. I uh, haven't experienced the major issues. Uh, I play mostly at uh, 1080p medium with this uh, 6600 XT, and I find it acceptable. 
All right, so there we have it for our uh, Ultra preset. We've got an average of uh, 69. Then we've got our 1% lows are sitting at 35 and 0.1% lows sitting at 20. Now I'm just going to enable uh, FSR quality and let's see if we can maintain a solid 60 FPS. So as I mentioned earlier, here's all the upscaling techniques. Uh, so we don't have NVIDIA DLSS here because we don't have an NVIDIA GPU. All right, so we'll just use uh, FSR 2. Don't even know why there's an FSR 1 and 2, maybe just... Uh, compatibility reasons all right so let's see what the performance is like i'm just going to reset the numbers all right and uh now we're getting about uh, 70 frames per second which is more than 60 for those of you who haven't noticed uh, we might still drop below 60 every now and again so it's uh, maybe not going to uh, guarantee a solid 60 frames per second experience but uh, it's definitely a bit better can see some shimmering etc in the foliage but that's to be expected and moving around in the castle we are still getting that uh, low number and high number combined getting like 70 frames per second in a certain area and then we're getting 100 frames per second in another area so it is quite inconsistent and maybe if you want a smoother experience just lock the frame rate so the game actually has an option to lock it in game if that still gives you some issues just use a third party app like uh, Riva Tuna Statistics Server just to limit your frame rate to 60 and uh, for this GPU I'd say play at uh, 1080p medium or high and you should be okay alright that's it for our 1080p Ultra with FSR quality we didn't maintain a uh, solid 60 frames per second I didn't reset the numbers before the recording. I just wanted to see what the performance is like. So and there we have it. Now let's see what it does at 1440p. Right, we're now at 1440p on the medium preset. Uh, let's see if we can maintain 60 frames per second. If we can't, then I'll just uh, test the low preset as well. But uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's not a high refresh rate experience, but uh, it seems like we are able to maintain 60 frames per second uh, most of the time. Once again, inside the car, still getting quite uh, a high frame rate and uh, moving outside, that'll drop down to 60. Now, I know that these tests are pretty short, it's just that there are quite a few settings to go over and uh, I also don't want to waste your time with the videos that are too long. I must say that the stuttering was quite a lot less at 1440p and that's uh, probably because uh, the GPU is now being used a bit more so the chances are lower that we become CPU bound in certain scenes. As you can see that the GPU usage is uh, stuck at 97, 98% and uh, that's what you want. All right, so that's it for our uh, 1440p medium. Uh, once again, if you go outside uh, to different uh, areas, the performance might uh, differ quite a bit. This is one of the more demanding areas actually outside of the castle in this uh, wooded area here. It's uh, got a lot of trees, a lot of uh, foliage, and the draw distance is also pretty far. So you can see pretty far into the distance and uh, the performance seems to be okay. All right, so we had an average of uh, 69 frames per second. We seem to be hitting that a lot. Uh, we've got 1% uh, low sitting at 46 and 0.1% low sitting at 38. All right, let's see what it does on the high preset. All right, now we're on the high preset and uh, we've uh, dropped quite a few frames per second there. We're now back into the 40s. Our VRAM allocation is sitting at uh, 7.8 uh, gigabytes. So not sure if Ultra will push us over the 8 gig limit, uh, but I've seen that uh, with the high preset and ray tracing enabled, uh, that definitely does it. And this is still not a terrible experience uh, for a Harry Potter game or a Hogwarts game, whatever. A high frame rate is not needed for this game. I'd say that this game would be perfectly playable at uh, 45 frames per second. Obviously the aim would be for 60 frames per second just to get a, a smoother experience, but uh, this is uh, definitely still playable. It seems like uh, casting some spells does uh, lower the frame rate a bit as well, but not if we look into the sky and we cast, uh, then we're getting above 60. That's what you want. All right, so but down here, uh, like normal people play, we're getting an average of uh, 56 frames per second. 1% lows are sitting at 33 and 0.1% lows are sitting at 22. So that would indicate that there is uh, still quite a few uh, stutters. But as I said, they don't seem to be game breaking. They don't feel as uh, terrible. So definitely playable. All right, let's see what happens at Ultra. Right, we're now at 1440p Ultra and uh, our frame rate 
pretty much halved uh, more or less now the textures also took quite a long time to finish loading we're not uh, running out of vram yet so that would be a lot more noticeable but uh, i think we are definitely getting closer and uh, this broom seems to be either aggressive or he just doesn't know how to be a, a witch or a wizard so there's quite a few status once you once again enter the building uh, but as soon as you are in here they do seem to smooth out a bit we are getting quite a low frame rate compared to our previous settings in this specific area we're getting about 100 uh, earlier so even though the game seems to be pretty playable even at uh, 1440p ultra uh, i personally would not uh, play like this i'd uh, play at 1080p uh, high or medium or if you have to then play at 1440p medium all right let's see what fsr setting we need to use to get a 60 frames per second on this preset all right so we are actually using fsr ultra performance and still it's uh, dipping below uh, 50 there um the game looks uh, terrible just look at the face the ghosting around the hair etc uh, definitely not uh, something that you want the lighting in this game is pretty good actually you can see the the shadows moving along with the the clouds and uh, the sun going down behind the mountain etc uh, anyway i just got a bit distracted there so uh, rather not uh, use uh, 1440p ultra because even with the fsr ultra performance we are not seeing a constant 60 frames per second now the nice thing about this game uh, let me just show you is if you enable any upscaling tech it'll actually show you at what internal resolution the game is running at uh, so you can see that uh, currently we're running at 854 by 480 and that's because we are using ultra performance so once we change that to balance you can see that the internal resolution also changes it's just nice that it actually indicates at what resolution we are running at all right so now for the big test let's see how this uh, game does with ray tracing all right we're still at uh, 1440p except now we've got uh, ray tracing enabled so we're on the medium preset uh, i've enabled all the ray tracing settings and uh, ray tracing quality is set to medium as well we aren't using any upscalers as yet so this is still at uh, 1440p native all right so we're getting a pretty uh cinematic experience here around uh, 24 frames per second the game looks uh, pretty good but it plays terribly like that and there's our vram issue this is exactly what happens uh, once you start running out of uh, vram and uh, ray tracing at these uh, settings would consume more than our 8 gig on this gpu you can see that our cpu usage dropped down to uh, six percent because uh it does not need a lot of CPU power to render at one frames per second. All right, so even though our VRAM allocated seems to be less than our previous tests, we are definitely running out of VRAM. This is uh, no question. So 1440p with ray tracing, a no-go. Let's see if we can actually get into the menu to enable FSR, see if that helps. I highly doubt it, but uh, let's see. I'm just going to try the FSR uh, balanced uh, preset here. We seem to have recovered from our stall and uh, I was uh, lying. All right, so even lowering the internal resolution does not help with the uh, VRAM overrun when you enable ray tracing. It's um, pretty funny, actually. All right, I'm not going to play around too much with the ray tracing settings at uh, 1440p. Clearly, we can't uh, use them. As I said, we've got the quality preset set to medium and ray tracing set to medium as well and uh, this is uh, unplayable all right let's see what happens at uh, 1080p all right we're now back at uh, 1080p on the medium preset Ex exactly the same settings as uh, what we had in our previous test just the resolution changed so the medium preset and uh, ray tracing set to medium as well now this is running at uh, native resolution and no upscaling and it seems to be pretty good actually just look at the vram usage there how it uh, creeps up so we might uh, run into our vram limitation soon as uh, soon as everything loads up into the memory we might start uh, seeing the same issue so it's not a resolution issue it's definitely a ray tracing issue we might have just uh, stopped short of it but uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, if you play a bit longer than five minutes then that issue would recur but as you can see that uh, that vram allocation there 
is not 100% accurate because it's actually less than our previous run where we actually did see that we ran out of VRAM. So uh, just to use that as a guide. I must say that I am actually pretty impressed that we can do this at uh, native resolution, getting around 40 frames per second. And as I say that, <laughs> this starts happening. Um, I'm not sure if the physics are tied to the frame rate as well, or if everything is just uh, taking its time to update. And then once it does, the animations are just uh, sped up. Um, but all right, so ray tracing with the uh, RX 6600 XT, even at 1080p, uh, definitely not uh, usable. Now, this is uh, to be expected actually, because uh, it is RDNA 2, so it's uh, AMD's first uh, iteration of ray tracing. So the performance was pretty poor to begin with. Also, this is a budget uh, GPU, uh, just uh, below mid-range, so I'd say lower mid-range. So you got to manage your expectations. All right, so I'm going to uh, leave this video here with this uh, stutter fest, um, three frames per second. If you've got an RX 6600 XT, rather play at 1080p, uh, you can crank up the, the settings a bit. You can go up to medium or high, you'll have a very good experience. Or if you have to play at 1440p, just use the medium preset. Just avoid a ray tracing at all costs. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we hope to see you in the next one.